Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chai With Us podcast. This is episode number 61. I am Erica, the personal developer. You can also find me online at Emotional Freedom. Hi, and I'm Ivana from Oko Isabel. Hello. <laughs> Today, we are going to talk about boundaries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'm excited about this topic because I think it's very important to have healthy boundaries with other people and with yourself. And this topic is just so broad. There's so many things we could talk about. Oh, my God. Um, I, um, do you believe in unhealthy boundaries? In what way? I don't know, because we're talking about healthy boundaries, right? Mm -hmm. And are there such, is there such thing as an, an, an unhealthy boundary? I don't know. I never just thought about that. Think. I never thought about yeah. that as well. An unhealthy saying. boundary. I don't know. Like, what do you think about what, what would be an example of an unhealthy boundary? Um, I would say, oh, yes, we have unhealthy boundaries. Plenty okay. of them. Uh, if you are using boundaries to block yourself out from uh, having a real relationship with other people, okay. right? Uh, because sometimes we can like create an emotional wall mm -hmm. and we can have, because some people don't have boundaries and mm -hmm. some people can be very extreme in their boundaries, yeah. you know, and be like, okay, you cannot do this. You cannot do that. I'm not going to tolerate this. I'm not going to tolerate that in that and that and that. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, let's say if you have a strong boundary, you have a boundary and you don't like to fight. Right, okay. you don't like to fight. Okay, that could be a, a healthy boundary. But to what mm -hmm. to to what extent? Because sometimes you, you do have to fight to sort the yeah. problem, right? You don't have to shout, but sometimes you really need that confrontation to mm -hmm. you know to move forward. To move your relationship way. forward into another level, yeah. Right. I think every relationship needs some type of conflict. That's yeah. how you grow and that's how you get yeah. to know each other. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So we had, yeah, I didn't think about it because yeah. for me, like, I, I had no boundaries, right? So for mm -hmm. me, I, I really see boundaries as, as a positive thing because I have none. <laughs> so well, boundaries are good. <laughs> what, um, what do you mean? First of all, like, what do we mean by boundary? I think it's okay. important for us to define what we like, call a boundary. What is a boundary to you? Okay. For me, a boundary is more about setting a limit okay. for people to know to what extent they can go with me okay, uh, yeah. and for people to know what is not acceptable mm -hmm. for me something that I cannot tolerate well that's that's a boundary and yeah. boundaries can be movable right I mm -hmm. have fixed boundaries like you I mean you cannot cross this because mm -hmm. it's not gonna uh, happen but yeah. sometimes uh, you you can change your and adjust your boundaries, right? Mm -hmm. Because I used to have very poor boundaries. Like yes. my my boundaries were like, uh, if you don't hit me in the face, we're good, yeah. right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So so yeah. So boundaries for me are just this line where you cannot cross it, and if you yes. cross it, there there will be consequences. Yes. And depending on the type of boundary, well, the consequences can be like, uh, we don't have a relationship anymore. Uh, we don't see each other as often. I don't allow you in my life. I mean, it's, it depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think for me, it's the same thing. It's a guideline for other people to know how to behave around me. Like what I find is tolerable mm -hmm. and what is not tolerable and what I find is reasonable and permissible. And of course, in order for them to know this, we have to communicate, right? Like we have to let other people know yes. this is a boundary or like I can, I will not tolerate this and establish them. Because if no one knows what our boundaries are and it's just us, how do they know that they crossed them? You know what I mean? Like how yeah. did they know that they violated one of your important boundaries if you never made that yeah. known and Thank a lot of so times much. like we yeah. won't know what our boundary is until something happens and we're like oh I didn't realize that this really meant was so important to me and now I feel I don't feel okay so we need to address this mm -hmm. so I think sometimes like we don't know what our boundaries are until the situation arises and then yeah. we have to communicate and say hey listen when this happened I was not okay with it going yeah. forward can we not do this anymore or mm -hmm. you know 
or maybe like you're in a situation that you don't want to be in you say like listen if I understand that you act this way when you're with these people but I don't like it so I'm maybe not gonna attend yeah yeah you're so true and and thank you for putting it in the way that you did because I think it was like very clear uh and you are right sometimes we have boundaries we don't even know because mm -hmm. you don't know and To, to what point people are, you know, are going to push you. Sometimes you are exactly. in the middle of a situation and you're like, uh, no, this is not yeah. what I signed up for, okay? Maybe mm -hmm. I like this, uh, the idea of something, but I'm not liking this right now. Yeah. And it's, it's very important also to think about that the, the boundary is not something like fixed. That's, that's it, yeah? Right. I think that boundaries may, may change. Uh, yeah. And thinking about my relationship, I, I, I come to realize that some of my boundaries were a little bit pushed, but um, in a very nice way because okay. I, I was a little bit shut down and mm -hmm. I saw like, you know, <laughs> my boyfriend just coming to the house and being himself. And I was like, but then, <laughs> you know, but then I just... <laughs> And then I was yeah. like, okay, Erica, maybe you can, you know, just how do you say when you have like a screw and it's very tight, you can just loosen just it. Just loosen it, yeah. You can loosen it a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, you are right. Sometimes we realize that we have boundaries that we didn't know of. And mm -hmm. sometimes you do have boundaries and then you realize, come on, <laughs> just, just loosen mm -hmm. up a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I think it's important when you're talking about boundaries to, at the beginning, know what you're capable of taking on. Okay, and yeah. That starts with, like, knowing who we are and, mm. and what, you know, because a lot of times, like, I used to be the kind of person that was involved in everything, in every club and every work, and I just, because to me, like, uh, my value was based on achievements and accomplishments and awards. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I would just say yes to everything. If somebody asked me to do something, I just never said no. I would just say yes, of course, even though I was maybe not capable of taking that on. But mm -hmm. I felt like if I said no, I would let the other person down. I didn't want to let them down. So mm -hmm. I just kept on saying yes to everything. And unfortunately, that leads to burnout. And, you know, you can really hurt yourself, not like Absolutely. mentally, but also physically. Like, you can get sick from taking on too much work. Yeah. Um, and so I think for me, like really knowing what was I capable of taking on and then communicating that with a person saying like, listen, I'm so sorry, but I really like don't have time in my schedule to do this or I'm not able to help you with this. I yeah. think that was really difficult for me, but it was like my whole life changed once I started doing that. Yeah, I think that for me, like my main compass were uh, my values. Mm -hmm. uh, I really took time to think about, okay, what is it that I value in life? It's just one yeah. of the things that when you start your personal growth journey, you start thinking about what is it, what are your values? What is it that you value in life? Mm -hmm. And anything that would go against my values, you know, uh, th that's out, that's just a sign that it's not, um, that, that sh it should be a, va a boundary. Uh, mm -hmm. So for me, it was like a good compass to think about the values and, and, as you said, to think about who I am and what type of the person, I, what type of person I want to be. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the most important thing in life, uh, besides having peace, is respect. Yes. So anything that goes against it, uh, that's a boundary set. Mm -hmm. I think for me is is being like around open minded people and people that are not open minded. I mm -hmm. I just know that we're not going to get along because we mm -hmm. have different beliefs and things. Yeah. So for me, like being around open minded people really is is I guess it's one of my boundaries. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because oof, sometimes it's hard to find open minded people. Sometimes yes, I, I struggle, agree. and and sometimes you have people that are in relationship with the people that you love you know mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. like mm, how do I deal with this yeah <laughs> how do I set my boundaries here because unfortunately not everybody you know and are in relationship are going to be um open-minded mm -hmm. but it's just that but it's good to know that you have that boundary and to mm -hmm. see like to what point are you where where is the limit right, right. because um, I, I made a commitment to myself, for example, to speak up. 
Yeah. And before I used to keep to listen to all sort of racist, stupid things like, uh-huh. and you know, it, it's pure ignorance. And before I was like, ha ha, but now I'm like, I'm going to speak up. And yeah. sometimes it's just not that worthy. So <laughs> it's not mm-hmm. worth it to talk about it. So yeah. it's kind of a, a topic where I'm kind of struggling a little bit. And I have mm-hmm. to think of um, where is my, my boundary in, mm-hmm. in regards to that? Because sometimes people make such comments. And I have, and you have to choose your battles. I kind of believe yes, in that. Yeah. Sometimes it's just not worth it to uh, to go on and try to confront people because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, the confrontation is not going to benefit anyone. So mm-hmm. yeah, um, just me thinking about my life. <laughs> um, how how was it for you to? St- start setting boundaries like as a person has always said yes to everything like how did that work it was very difficult um because like I was always saying yes to everything I was like the yes woman you know what I mean like I've never Mm -hmm. said no to something so I think that I felt this and I actually looked it up there's a term for it it's called unearned guilt And what that is, is like, at first, like, you might start feeling good about the first time you set a boundary. But then once like the situation arises, and you experience the boundary, Mm -hmm. you start to feel like bad for setting the boundary. And that's called unearned guilt. So it's not, there's no like, it's nice to know that this actually had there's a term for that it exists. Mm -hmm. And that it's normal. So it's normal to feel this way when a when a boundary situation is happening. Uh, but I didn't even know that there, there was a name for it. So now I feel better about it, that I'm experiencing this unearned guilt. Um, so I think it was very difficult. Uh, I was experiencing this unearned guilt. Uh, but then what I realized is I started feeling much better when I when I did set a boundary. And so, for mm-hmm. example, like a boundary can be, you know, like in your bedroom, like you don't want people entering without knocking. So just yeah. asking, can you please knock before you enter? And at first I was just kind of like annoyed that the boundary violation was happening. But then the more I like said, hey, please knock before you enter, because you don't know what I'm doing in my bedroom. You know what I mean? Like maybe I mm-hmm. like just got out of the shower or something like it's your personal space. Mm-hmm. Um, I started feeling better. Like I, I feel like when you stand up for your boundary, you feel like so much like confidence and power and, and just like, wow, like, yes, I'm worthy of this boundary. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes total sense. But like what, if you want to gain confidence in yourself, you have to start doing this kind of stuff. And at the beginning, as you said, like you were, you were telling your story and you were telling my story and I am going to tell the story of everyone who's listening and ever tried to start setting boundaries. When I heard about boundaries, I was like, oh, my God. (laughs) It was just like a whole discovery. I was like, oh, my God, I can tell people what not to do. And I Mm -hmm. get to say no when I don't want. Like, this seems very obvious, but it's just like one of those things that you never think about if you were never, you know, if no one ever sat down with you and said, what are you doing? Like, you get to say no. Like, think about your values. Think about who you want to be. And for me, like the first times I, I, I was about to set a boundary, like my heart was racing, my yes. head was set, sweating while I was sending the text to mm-hmm. whoever I needed to say no to. And, mm-hmm. and it was hard. And, and, and you are right. I felt very guilty. And, and then yes. it's just for the first times you feel like, let's say you don't want to go to that party, right? Yeah. You don't want to mm-hmm. go. So you don't go. And on top mm-hmm. of it, you feel bad for not going, even yes. though it was the right thing to do. So mm-hmm. I would feel bad, but then I was going, but then I was like calming myself down and saying, you know what, you did the right thing. You were not mm-hmm. going to be all right there. So since you said no, enjoy it. Yes. So first time, second time, third time, it's horrific. It's horrible. It is not a good feeling, but then you get used to it. Yeah, and it's wonderful. And now I say no, and I'm like, you know, <laughs> chilling and relaxing, and, and and it's amazing. And yeah, you're not doing anyone a favor if you are doing right. something against your will that you don't want to do. Yeah. yeah. 
And I think it's so important, like before you have this conversation, when you're about to have this boundary conversation, think of all the other times that you went through something difficult and you made it through. Mm -hmm. And like, you know what I mean? Like I always say this, like write down all the times that you had something difficult happen and you survived and Mm -hmm. just start thinking about that and how you felt in that moment and start to embrace the same emotions when you're about to have that boundary talk. Yeah. And you're having a difficult time. Think about it and really think about it and write down what is it that is not acceptable. What is it that you are not willing to accept? Just write down mm-hmm. your list. And if it goes against the, the five things or the three things that you wrote, then you mm-hmm. have to set a boundary. Like we cannot tell you that it's going to be easy. <laughs> it was yeah. very, very difficult uh, for me to, to get to this point. And sometimes I, I feel guilty sometimes, but I just, yes. you, it's more important. Uh, it's more important for me to keep my words and my commitment to myself than the 15 minutes of being uncomfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's just that you're going to feel uncomfortable and then, and then it's okay. But yeah, but but yeah, the boundaries are are very important. This thing that I read, I was so good. It says healthy boundaries prevent you from feeling guilty for someone else's negative feelings. I really liked that when I read that, I was like, wow, that makes sense. Because sometimes like what I realize is like if somebody is saying something about us, for example, it's how they really feel internally about themselves. So, for example, like what I really don't like is my mom making comments about my weight. Mm -hmm. Uh, But you know what? That has to do with her own issues that she has with her weight and that she's projecting onto me. And so I've told her before, like, I don't like you commenting about my weight when we're around other people. Mm -hmm. And she's apologized for it, which is fine. But we had to have that conversation. You know what I mean? Like, that was one of my boundaries that I needed to tell her and we need mm-hmm. to talk about it but I've just realized that like made that that's the negative feeling that she has about it and that's how because she, she thinks everything is you know about weight and what how big a person is or how small they are mm-hmm. and that's and you know what that goes back to her parents and how she was raised and how her entire yeah. family is yeah. you know what I mean like they all like that's the first thing that they talk about when they see you like oh you've gained weight or you've lost weight like that's the very first comment they make which is very sad to me because you are not your weight you know what I mean? Like you are a person, you have a soul. There's yeah. so much um, about you that, you know what I mean? That yeah. makes up who you are. And it's not just your physical appearance. No, not at all. Your physical appearance is just like the uh, the vehicle you use to move around in the world. Mm-hmm. That's it. You got to take care of it. Yeah, but that's it. And I, I think it's worth to mention also that Setting boundaries is also love. Yes. For some people, it's just normal to comment on people's weight. For yeah. some people, it's just normal to assume that a certain race is a certain way because you have known one black person in your life. For mm-hmm. certain people, this is normal. And if you don't tell them, like one thing is when you tell them 10, t- 10 times, then you have to pick yeah. up your fights and just, you know, I choose to, you know, I, I rather have peace of mind and not get into it. But it's also a form of love saying, you know what, for me, this is very disturbing. Please don't do that because that, that, and that. It's a boundary. Yeah, exactly. And that's it. And then the person has the opportunity to stop the behavior, to change the behavior. Because if mm-hmm. we don't tell, like, seriously, um, this was one of my haha moments, aha moments in, in therapy. Like, I... I really try to be a very correct person, mm-hmm. but like to the to like to the extreme. I'm really, really, I'm very tough on myself, and I really try to be a very correct person. Mm-hmm. And I forget that not everybody is like I am. Not yeah. everybody is going to try to do things like I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not perfect. I am extremely, mm-hmm. you know, I have this extreme. Uh, need to be correct and sometimes mm-hmm. it's just too much sometimes I should like to you know like chill out and just yeah. tell this person to f off <laughs> and yeah sometimes I should do but I don't but but like just to say what was I going to say I just lost myself while I'm speaking what was I saying guys you're talking about how boundaries are also rooted in love and oh yeah that- <laughs> thank you so I was assuming that everybody was doing, was going to act the way I, the way yeah. I act and think, you know what, this person is half an hour late. Like I would not do that. But sometimes you, it's not like 
you would not do that, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the world will not do that. So sometimes you have to tell other people like what your boundaries are. Mm -hmm. Because I agree. we're not mind readers. Some of us are very good mind readers. I'm a very good mind reader. I think you are as well. I but try to be, yeah. Not everybody is, is a mind reader and they deserve mm -hmm. to know. Yeah, there's um, so, you know, we have to be assertive when we're setting our boundaries to like let the other people know what our boundary is. Yeah. And we've already talked about like learning how to say no, which I think is because we're a yes culture. You know what I mean? Like, I think we're like conditioned to never say no and like to always like say yes to things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important. And not just that, but to safeguard your space. You know what I mean? Like mm. your your physical space. Cause how do we feel when somebody, like another boundary is physical boundary, right? Like how do we feel when somebody's in our personal space? You know, that space that's like an arm's length. You this feel uncomfortable, right? It feels one. very uncomfortable with those people that like talk to you like very close like this. This is a big one. Like <laughs> um, I was somebody. What do you do in this situation? Like did you step away? Do you say. Like I tried to step away and uh I was called rude for this. Mm 